Hello, my fire signs. Welcome to your weekly reading. This, of course, is for all my Aries, my Leo, my Sagittarians, no matter where this uh, appears in your chart. We're going to be zeroing in on the week of October 10th to October 17th. But of course, as I always say, if you come across this reading outside of that time frame, I I uh, always encourage you to trust your gut, trust your intuition, and watch the video anyway, because if you were brought here, then there's most definitely a message somewhere for you. So uh, if you are watching this between October 10th and October 17th, the big energy I want to talk about is the Aries full moon that's coming up on October 20th, just a few days after this time period that we're looking at. But, you know, this full moon is really going to start impacting you, I would even say, a week before and it will vary depending on your chart um, but I would definitely um, keep that in mind of what energies are coming in. Um, I did put out readings yesterday um, on October 9th about the Aries full moon for each of the zodiac signs. I um, mean it's just a reading about how that energy is going to impact in you the week before that full moon and two weeks after that. So if you want to take a look at that, I'm going to put a link to that um, um, at the end of the video somewhere here. So if you want to check that out, um, just click on that uh, playlist link and then you can choose the proper zodiac sign for you. All right, well, we're going to jump in right now and see for this specific week what the creator wants you to know. Um, and we're going to, it's going to be a unicorn experience because I have got these Magic of Unicorn Oracle cards and another unicorn deck. And we're just going to see what the creator wants you to know overall for the week. So this is for all our fire signs. Creator, what do you want our fire signs to know just in general for this upcoming week? Okay, actually, I feel like this is the one that wants to talk to us, so we will take it. Yep, see, beautiful. I love the unicorn with dolphins. I simply love dolphins as well. Um, it says, go with the flow, relax and trust, accept what is happening. So embracing the what is that's going on in the moment, not getting attached to outcomes, knowing that everything is temporary um, in this life and that it's not going to last for very long, no matter if it's something that we think is bringing us happiness or something that's bringing us sadness. Just enjoy whatever moment you're in, flow with whatever emotion you're feeling, you know, don't resist. You know, if you resist like a, a sad emotions, you just, you're being dragged through it and it takes longer for you to flow through it. So with sadness or any emotion, just allow yourself to feel it. You don't have to act on the emotion, but feel them. I um, mean, go with the flow, knowing that um, something new is gonna be coming in in the next moment, in the next circumstance, in the next situation. Um, it says life is like a river, sometimes racing and other times quiet and still. Right now, the currents of the universe are flowing in your favor. So relax, surrender, and allow the tide you're on to carry you forward. If your life feels like a Russian torrent, uh, enjoy the exhilarating ride like white rod rapids, right? However, recognize that there may be submerged rocks, eddies, or even waterfalls to negotiate and ask your unicorn to help keep a protective ball of white light around you. If your life seems to be meandering along rather slowly, accept this too as a gift. This is what you need right now, so let go of any frustrations or boredom. Don't try to push ahead. Rather, take the opportunity to relax and enjoy the peace. Look at the beauty of the world as you drift along. Overall, your guidance is to trust the universe. Your unicorn is asking you to allow the wisdom of the invisible forces of the cosmos to direct you. Know that what is happening is for the highest good. Swimming against the current would only drain your energy and inner resources and get you a face full of water, right? <laughs> the more you trust the flow, the more your unicorn can steer you on your journey. You're being prepared for the next phase. 
have faith that all is in divine right order. And I know that's hard sometimes when reality isn't matching up to our ego's expectations, our human side expectations. You know, definitely um, we tend to fight against that because we fear what that situation means about us, right? But this is just saying, trust the universe, trust that you are lovable just as you are. Um, you know, when we connect to that unconditional love that the Creator has for us, we can hold on a little longer and not, you know, try to change things and try to control the outside world. When we go with that flow of that love, you know, loving the Creator, trusting the Creator, trusting their timing as well, um, that we can flow and enjoy the peace, whether it's uh, on a white <laughs> water rapid raft that we're going on or a slow inner tube down a lazy river. Trust that whatever's happening in your life right now is happening for your highest experience, your highest good, right? And then I have the Oracle of the Unicorns, another beautiful deck of unicorns. Let's see what else. The creator wants you to know about this upcoming week, but I love that. Go with the flow. Just surrender to the water. You know, just surrender to the flow. Right. <laughs> they they um, brought to my remembrance. Um, there's a lot of history of man trying to change the flow of rivers, and it doesn't tend well. <laughs> they try to divert a river, you know, around something and build a city or a town, and then floods come and it just whoosh, right over there. Uh, you know, attempts to control the flow of the river and it goes where it intended to go. <laughs> All right, creative for our fire signs. What else do you want them to know about this upcoming week? Okay, so right here. You got nature. Another beautiful card here. And it says ground yourself. Find a sanctuary in nature and connect with the elementals, especially the element of water, possibly. But um, definitely this is about getting grounded um, during this um, phase here. You know, fire energy of which you are, you know, um, is very, of course, explosive and, and it makes you want to move. It makes you want to do things and, and head there and with the full moon um, in um, Aries coming up. It's just an amplified energy. And so grounding during this time really will be for the benefit and bringing in the water um, element helps cool the fire down. It helps. It may turn it into some steam, <laughs> but um, you can still use that to help calm yourself during, during this um, time frame. And definitely getting out into nature helps you quiet all the noise and, and even that drive you have to obtain and get more and to become something new. When you get out into nature, it's this calmness that comes and this um, awareness of who you really are and what you are really worthy of, um, you know, because it's in your, your deep heart connection there. Just say spend time out in nature before you make a decision or you take your next steps in a situation. Either you need the clarity of mind that time in nature will bring or you need to release some stress and become more calm and grounded before moving forward. The unicorns ask you to find a beautiful sanctuary where you can be surrounded by nature and breathe in pure air, relax, and connect more deeply with your heart. Not only will this be soothing for your soul, it will help you listen to your inner wisdom and gain new perspective on this situation. Venture out into a meadow, a forest, a mountain, or a beach where you can find peace or end solitude. If you can, take off your shoes and go barefoot. Feel the soil or sand beneath you. Close your eyes and open all of your senses. Feel the breeze brush against your skin and the sun warming you. Listen to the sounds of birds, waves, or rustling leaves. Breathe in the scents of flowers, tree sap, or salt air. 
Imagine your cares and worries melting away from you as Mother Nature cradles you in her arms. Sink deeper into her presence as you become more grounded. Imagine yourself connected heart to heart with the earth and feel at one with all of the life around you, from the tiniest insects to the tallest trees. Call on the divas, the unicorns, and the other elementals in this place, including the fairies or mermaids. Set intentions for miracles, love, and abundance, and ask for guidance to support you on your path. Visualizing your desires in nature can help them manifest faster, so take the time to sit, relax, and imagine your dream life as if it's already happening. Give thanks when you uh, leave nature and give back by doing something to take care of the earth by donating to an environmental nonprofit or volunteering or buying eco products or recycling more. So give back. So I love that. All right. So definitely getting into nature, connecting to nature, going with the flow. Um, nature does teach us that, you know, when you go out and take a look at nature, you see how, um, you know, uh, plants and flowers grow where they will. They're not like a flower bed, right? It's this beautiful um, joining together, this beautiful unity that's out there. All right, then we're going to take a look here at this, uh, the good tarot. <laughs> And just get some additional messages on what the Creator wants for you for this upcoming week. Right, for our Fire Signs Creator, what else do you want them to know about this upcoming week? A lot of energy in the cards. Just make them really obvious for us, please. Okay, that one. What else? That one and that one. So your first card is the Fool, which is a great card because, you know, it's the zero card, of course, up top there. Um, and it is about a new beginnings. This really is about, it means that you're coming from an ending of a major cycle and you're, you're starting on a new adventure, a new... Um, you know, journey within your life. So there is something majorly that has ended or will end and bring this new beginning in for you. The zero also for me represents the soul. And so it really is about connecting to your higher self, your higher presence, you know, that powerful, supernatural, eternal spirit being that you are, that's made of unconditional love. So getting out into nature, um, and connecting to your higher self does allow you to get into this beautiful place of um, flow in life because, you know, um, when you are full of that unconditional love, allow it to fill it up and overflow, you just, you feel that trust, you feel that unconditional love and that calms all our, of our fears because what we're looking for is the unconditional love of the creator. It's what we are, it's what we're made out of. And we come here as the little human, you know, to experience what it might feel like to be small and limited and powerless and f feel all those fear emotions. And so we do, you know, like I mentioned, embracing those feelings and feeling them um, because it's what we came here for. And when you're ready to feel something different, you have that power to choose to feel differently. You have the power to change the story that you're putting to any situation in your life. That's your power. That's our free will, our power of choice to choose um, to look at things in a, in a totally different way. Um, so I love that that card popped up there for you. Yep, and then you have the Ten of Air, um, which is so perfect because this is the ending and this is the new beginning. The Ten of Air would be the Ten of Swords in a regular deck as well. Um, and all these feathers, all these, um, they usually have like ten swords and someone's like laying face down in the dirt. Um, looking away from us to the sunrise that's coming, but all these swords are 
uh, stabbed in the back, which is all the expectations of the outside world, all those conditional love laws telling us who we should be, how we should feel, all these popular opinions on all of those shoulds and supposed tos and need tos and have tos. Um, and But you are tired of this. You're tired of that pressure. You're tired of swimming upstream um, where everyone's telling you to swim um, and you're ready to let all that go um, and start this new journey. So uh, definitely this has been something I feel like, uh, you know, this is a general reading, but for majority of you, you're just like sick and tired of being sick and tired um, and you're ready for this uh, horn to be blown here to go a new journey begins and um, you're able to let those things go. Let's see what um, how they do that here. Yeah, because here's the four of air. And this is normally, again, the Four of Swords. Uh, Aaron's Swords, um, if I didn't mention it all, are your thoughts, your beliefs, your mindsets, your attitudes, your expectations. And of course, as we grow up, we're fed all these opinions from the outside world on how things should be, and sometimes they're contradictory. Um, and uh, not even sometimes they are contradictory because you have one person that tells you one thing and someone that tells you the opposite, and you're like, okay, well, around them I'll do that, and around them I'll do that. Um, um, because you don't want to get rejected by either one of them. And then you just hope that you don't meet both of them at the same time. <laughs> but the four of swords or the four of air is about you contemplating um, and really questioning the um, thoughts and beliefs. Because the three um, right before this card, the three of air, um, is about expectations and usually you'll see like in a lot of tarot the heart with three swords in it and then those swords are our thoughts and beliefs and those are the things that pierce our heart and that make us you know that prick our heart um because that's the prick of fear that we're um unworthy or we're rejectable or what does that mean about us because we were told that's what it's supposed to mean that's what it should mean that's what it has to mean that's what it needs to mean um and so with this, usually they'll have like the Ace of Air or the Ace of Swords, which is our ability to connect to the capital T truths of our soul, which allow us to really look at the small T truths of the outside world that um, help us whittle those away as we understand and flood in unconditional love into a situation. We see things more clearly and we're able to slice these, you know, all these ten of swords, this ten of air, and um, cut away those things that no longer serve us. They did serve us for a time, bringing us sadness, bringing us betrayal, all those, you know, beautiful yum 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 nummy 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 emotions <laughs> of fear that we came here to experience. But like I said, when you're sick and tired of being sick and tired, you're able to make a new choice and. The four of air can be like this feeling and these emotions of peace of mind um, because, you know, this is not peaceful, um, but this allows us to transform those small T truths into these capital T truths, and that's what brings us that peace. We're going to just grab a few more cards here from these everyday tarot and just get some clarity on these as well. See what else the creator wants you to know about this week. Anything else? I feel like that one right there. Okay. So this one that popped out is the Two of Cups. And this is perfect because for me, cups are emotions. Um, I mean, the cups are emotions for most tarot readers. <laughs> but for me, this is your um, human self and your higher self. And she's offering the Ace of Cups, which is the chalice, the Holy Grail, which has the unconditional love of the Creator. 
And so this is like this awareness that there is more to you than just your human side. And that totally connects in here with this full card, which is about <laughs> connecting to your soul. And so I really feel like this is just reiterating that message that yes, you are more than this human. Um, and this cup that she's offering you is bringing you that unconditional love that you've been seeking for. And so really developing this deeper connection to your higher self um, and realizing that our human shadow side, that our ego that came down here to experience all these emotions is a piece of us. It is the brave piece of us that chose to disconnect from that feeling of powerfulness and limitlessness and unconditional love to experience all these painful, um, uncomfortable emotions and experiences. So we can embrace it and give the love that it's been searching for all along um, and do and definitely connect there. Yeah, and then you have the High Priestess, which totally is about, she is the one that connects to the other realm, connects to the other side. She goes into her temple, um, connects to that moon energy and opens up and sees into the unknown, sees into the hidden worlds, uh, connects to those beings of unconditional love and light on the other side. So I really feel like that's just reiterating. And again, you got a two and she's also the two. Um, so it is this connecting to your higher self, a very strong message of that. Yeah, and then you have the Queen of Swords. So I'm not surprised another sword popped up here, especially with these air, which are the swords in the regular deck. Here's that Ace of Swords I was talking about that she uses to cut away those thoughts and beliefs that no longer serve her and um, connects her to the higher T truths. She has her hand extended, which means she's open to receiving that new thoughts and those new beliefs from above. And she actually sits on a throne of a cup, which, um, you know, the queens themselves, um, all four queens and all four suits, regardless of what um, suit they're in, um, have water energy. And um, with her being the swords and the air energy, um, she has this beautiful understanding that making decisions strictly on our what we feel our wisdom and truth is generally doesn't match up to our um, with who we really are and what we're really wanting in life. Um, you know, and also making decisions strictly on emotion um, also doesn't do that. And it's this beautiful balance that comes in between heart and mind here. So whatever decisions it was talking about here, you know, getting out into nature, connecting to the higher realms, connecting to who you really are. Um, and you have that whole support system on the other side that you can ask questions. They're outside of time and space. They have that higher perspective looking down upon all of Earth's history and your entire path of your life. Um, you have the Creator, you have Spirit, you've got um, loved ones who are, have lived here and, all the, on, uh, and are on the other side. You've got your ancestors, uh, guardian angels and angels and spirit guides and unicorns and fairies and whatever you believe of those beings of unconditional love and light, you definitely have this ability, especially with this high priestess here, to connect and listen. If you're in the fear noise, you're not going to be able to hear a lot of what they have to say very clearly at all because the fear noise can be deafening, right? But they communicate on this level of unconditional love and joy and peace and laughter. Getting that into nature um, really helps um, quiet that noise. And if you raise your vibration and your frequency, your love to that unconditional love state, then you can hear messages very clearly for you. So I love this for you guys for this upcoming week. And just know as you're going through each and every moment that you are indeed unconditionally loved by the mother and father of all things, our creator. So, um, and definitely enjoy this week here. I'd like to let everyone know in addition to these weekly readings, of course, I do a monthly uh, reading by each zodiac sign. So if you want to check that out, uh, that will also be linked here at the end in addition to that 
um, Aries full moon playlist that'll pop up any second here, probably in one of these corners. Um, and I do a variety of other like new moon and you know, like I said, full moon readings and some others. So if you want to be kept in the loop on those when those come out, if you haven't done so already, just click the subscribe button down below. That's going to make this little notification bell pop up. And if you click on that, then you'll be notified when those videos come out. So easy breezy. All right. Well, I'm going to leave the reading there. Just know that I also love you dearly, and I'm sure I'll be talking to you very soon. But until then, you take care.